Hey, how's everyone doing today? So in today's video, I'm gonna be focusing more on checking out what might be coming, or looks like it is coming, to the pocket. So if you look here on Twitter, Adam Gustini, hopefully I'm not butchering his name, sorry if I am, um, but if you've looked at his prior work, and I've talked about it before, so if you go here to uh, GitHub, he'll also be known as user agg 23 and he has released two different cores already. He's released Pong and the and the Ardu Boy for analog pocket cores. So back to there we go. So now we're back to his Twitter page. Now it looks like he's been working on NES and uh, Super Nintendo. So that's pretty cool to see. Now if you look right here, now now just a quick just a quick clarification. He has been working on porting the cores that were already developed by uh, Mister. So just just to get that out of the way, it looks like uh, the NES is about 99.9%. It was their work. He gave other people credit, which is cool. It's always good to see, you know, people giving other people the proper credit that they deserve. But that's awesome, man. Let me let me just say that. Uh, let's go down more. Uh, look here here he's showcasing another one uh, SNES this time this looks like Mario uh, the tactics I believe it's called don't kill me if it's uh, wrong but he's also giving credit where credit is dude looks like he gave credit to somebody else as well like I mentioned he's doing most of the porting so that's awesome to see that this is getting done can't wait to see how this looks. This is going to be a lot of fun. I always love playing Super Super, Super Mario World. I've, that's always been my go-to whenever uh, one of my kids wants to start playing video games. I always take them back to Super Nintendo. I think it's a, it's a good start. And that uh, looks like it's coming to the pocket. Now, this is definitely going to be a cool way to play it portably. Obviously, there are tons and tons of ways to play uh, SNES portably through you know emulation you could going back I've been playing uh, portably since the PSP uh, I they had a good SNA, SNES emulator that was actually did run pretty good now that didn't run everything perfectly because it was a PSP but it did a very good job to say the least it really did now if you continue going down you can tell he's also working on NES and I'll link his uh, Twitter page here that way in case anybody wants to keep up with what he's doing or support him or anybody else that's been involved. So that's it's really awesome. And I love that he's also giving credit where credit is due to everybody else who's actually made these cores possible. So that's always a good thing to see. Now, man, that's, that's awesome that he's doing this. I love the ports. And I really are doing a lot of stuff. I'll give him that. I'll just, here's a Tecmo one. Ah, uh, yeah, because they had a new Tecmo uh, release. I'm still trying to work out how to properly do that one before I make a video on that. But, man, it looks like this is going to be a lot of fun. Let me say, I cannot wait till this gets released. And I hope it gets released soon. I really want to test it out and see how it handles. Because that's going to be awesome. And when that gets released, I will definitely be... Uh, Sending this out to to uh, the world to see. I gotta say, like I mentioned, he he gets all the credit for porting it. That's awesome that they have somebody actually working on porting this stuff. We are already gonna have so many different systems, a bunch of Nintendo systems, Sega systems. So this is gonna be amazing to see what other systems. And I, I already see arcade systems coming on. So it's only a matter of time before we get more and more cores can't wait to see what we can push so all right everyone that's it i just want to show you what was going on in the in the world of twitter and analog so i hope everyone enjoyed the video and i will see you on the next one